Ahead, shop till you drop. And the Olympics resume in London later in the show. Welcome to Three Times Square this Thursday from Reuters World Headquarters in New York. If you were hoping for weak retail sales to convince the Fed chairman to order up more stimulus for the economy, you're out of luck. Stores from the low end to the high end exceeding their same store sales forecast for August. Overall, the stores tracked by Thomson Reuters have nearly doubled expectations. That includes the company behind our daily digit today, 21%. That company is Nordstrom. The estimate was only about 11%. Others shining include Macy's, Target, and Kohl's. Checking the shares of these retailers right now, you can see uh, Kohl's up the most at over 2% and Nordstrom at 1%. The others uh, about flat. The retail ETF, the XRT, up nearly 17% this year, far ahead of the market and almost as strong as the tech-heavy NASDAQ. DuPont is getting out of the car paint business, the Dow component selling the unit to private equity firm the Carlyle Group for nearly $5 billion. The division consists of 11,000 employees. DuPont plans to focus on advanced materials and biotechnology. Shares are trading near their 52-week high above $53. Yesterday, Yelp proved that not all Internet-related IPOs are suffering as it soared on the date of the lockup expiration of millions of its shares. Today, it's Pandora's turn. The internet radio company reporting better than expected results and raising its outlook. The firm's CEO attributing the strength in part to more people listening to music on their mobile devices. Shares close at 10.08 Wednesday and are now at about 12.25. One stock that is not getting a boost now, Barclays. The troubled British bank naming a new CEO. Our Axel Threlfall joins us from London. Axel, the company is choosing an insider. This is a bit of a surprise, no? Um, yeah, there has been a lot of debate about this, but it seems the board's decision, uh, Lisa, to go with Anthony Jenkins was unanimous in the end. Uh, there were those who said, look, an outsider would have been a far better choice to make a break with the bank's past misdemeanors and to draw a deep line in the sand uh, from the past. Uh, there were also those who wanted someone with solid investment banking experience because, of course, Jenkins is a retail banking guy. Uh, there were external candidates that fitted the bill, like Bill Winters, ex-JP Morgan, but apparently he didn't want it. So uh, in the end, uh, they did go with their guy, their internal guy. Some might say by default. Others say he was the only credible candidate and that time was uh, of the essence and that this way it was able to happen quickly. He's also, and this is important, he's also cut from a different cloth to Bob Diamond. Uh, he's much lower key, and maybe uh, some have suggested this, that that was also part of it, putting the days of the celebrity investment banker behind them as well. We'll have to see. Uh, interesting. Okay, Axel, thanks so much. Our power player of the day, still a pop culture icon and commanding big bucks from beyond the grave. It's legendary host and producer Dick Clark. His Dick Clark Productions, producers of myriad award shows and reality shows, is close to being sold to private equity firm Guggenheim Partners, according to The Hollywood Reporter. This after Ryan Seacrest and backers withdrew from talks with seller Red Zone Capital. Seacrest, of course, succeeded Clark as host of his New Year's Rock and Eve show. Guggenheim could end up paying $385 million for Dick Clark Productions, says The Hollywood Reporter, or 10 times the asking price. Not bad in this economy. Let the games begin in London again. The world's top Paralympic athletes gathered for the opening ceremony of the 2012 Paralympic Games. Physicist Stephen Hawking and South African run runner Oscar Pistorius were on hand, along with lots of rousing dancers and fireworks, as you can see there. Queen Elizabeth there to kick off the competition, too, to be held at the same venues as the recent London Olympics. 2.4 million tickets to events have been sold. That's the latest from Three Times Square this Thursday. You can follow us on Twitter at Reuters Insider and check out our Reuters YouTube channel at Reuters.com slash Reuters TV. I'm Lisa Bernhard. This is Reuters.